Tamar. Get set. Go! Don't have a cow, man. Tip him over. The cow pokes who hit four heifers over first will take stock of 25 doggy dollars and lasso control of the first round on the show that knows where the beef is. Guys, we're going to go up here and play some family double there. It's family double there. And now, here's the host of family double there, Mark Summers. That's me. That was Doc. It's Family Double Dare, it's Nickelodeon, it's the Tournament of Champions trying to find the fastest and the smartest teams all across America. Team to my left, boy, they got that, that opening uh, toss-up down just like that, and uh, they got $25. Let's meet them. Their names are Four Short Texans. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> right. Kind of a dead giveaway as to where they might be from. Uh, <laughs> say hello to Rosalind and Royce and Ryan and Roberts. You must have a name that starts with an R uh, here, right? Yeah. Very nice. And you folks are here from what part of Texas? Houston. And what kind of work do you do, sir? Uh, city engineer inspector. Engineer inspector. And what do you do, ma'am? I work for Exxon. Very nice. And uh, what school, what grade in school are you folks? Ninth. Ninth and? Fifth. And fifth. They're very reserved. Did you notice that? We're ninth. We're fifth. We're cool. Ask the blue team what they do. Okay? All right. Well, let's do that. Say hello to a team from uh, all the way from New Hampshire. Granite Toast. A great name. Granite Toast. <laughs> They are a very musical family. Their names are Rich, Becky, Andy, and Suzanne. Now, everybody plays a musical instrument? Mm -hmm. What do you, what, now, Dad, what do you play? Well, I just started the saxophone. I can play three notes. <laughs> <laughs> just three notes? <laughs> I, I've had two lessons. Well, that's good. And what do you play? I play the violin, the viola, the clarinet, and the guitar. Oh, my gosh. And how about you, Andy? I play the piano, the trombone, and the trumpet. And Mom? I play the piano, sort of. Sort of? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great. Do you get together and kind of do little jam sessions? Uh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> uh, I guess not. All right, they don't have any money. Let's talk about the rules here on Family Double Dare. I'm going to be asking you a question. If you don't know the answer, think the other team doesn't have a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because you can always double dare them back for four times the amount, and then you would either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Good luck to the Granite Toast team from Exeter, New Hampshire. And over here, uh, we have the Reed family from Texas, and this $25 question. If you eat caviar, what are you really eating? Bring up to fifty dollars, or you could dare them. Fish eggs. Yeah, fish eggs. That is disgusting. Oh, and twenty-five dollars. Wow. Now, Royce, have you ever eaten fish eggs? No, sir. Uh, <laughs> has anybody here ever had caviar? No. No, I, it just never appealed to me at all. Okay, twenty-five dollars. The T one thousand was a bad guy in what nineteen ninety-one science fiction film? Would take you to seventy-five dollars, or you could dare them. Oh, Terminator. I need more specific information, or you could dare them. Don't let time run out. T2 Judgment Day? Well, that's it. Terminator 2. That's what we were looking for. At $25. Got the whole title in there. See, there were, there were two Terminator movies, and we needed to get the whole thing in there. Wasn't in the first, just in the second. In what Dr. Seuss book can you find Barbaloots, Truffle Trees, and The Onceler? Take you up to $100 really quick. Or you could dare our uh, folks from Exeter, New Hampshire. Dear. All right, now it's worth uh, 50. In what Dr. Seuss book can you find Barbaloots, Truffle of Trees, and the Onceler? The Lorax. Well, yeah, the Lorax. They had $50. Way to go. Granite Toast now has control. They read. I like that. Presidential candidate Bill Clinton played saxophone on what late night TV show? The Arsenio Hall show. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It was Arsenio! All right, here's our next question worth $25. What comedian's real name is Arthur Jefferson? Is it Sherman Hemsley? Is it Henny Youngman? Or is it Stan Laurel? Bring up to 100. This would uh, give you the lead for the first time today. Or you could dare them. Dare. Okay, what comedian's real name is Arthur Jefferson? Is it Sherman Hemsley, Henny Youngman, Stan Laurel? Or would you like to double dare them back? Need an answer. Stan Laurel. Stan Laurel? Mm -hmm. Did you guess at that? Yes. You guessed right. At fifty dollars, one hundred twenty-five. Now we uh, we generally tell our our families not to guess to go for the physical challenge because we don't want them to look bad on television by giving a wrong answer. And you guessed and you got it right, one hundred twenty-five dollars. A quadrilateral has how many sides? No physical challenge yet in uh, round one. You could dare them. Four. Four is right. You have one hundred fifty dollars and. Uh,
Right now, the money's going back and forth. Two very educated teams. The George Washington Carver National Monument, located in what state? Would bring it to 175, or you could dare them. Tough question. Need an answer. Atlanta, Georgia. Is incorrect. It was Missouri. No dare at stake. No money changing place. Control over here to the Granite Toast team. After acting as a mom on the Brady Bunch, Florence Henderson hosted which TV show for the Nashville Network? Was it Chit Chatting with Florence and Friends? Was it Florence Henderson's Country Kitchen? Or was it Almost Anything Goes, The Wessonality Challenge? Would bring you up to $100, or you could dare them. Dare. Now worth 50. After acting as mom on the Brady Bunch, what show did Florence Henderson host on the Nashville Network? Was it Chit Chatting with Florence and Friends? Was it Florence Henderson's Country Kitchen? Or was it Almost Anything Goes, The Wessonality Challenge? Or you could double dare them back. Double dare. Now worth 100. You're going to take our first physical challenge. Yeah. Physical, physical challenge. challenge. It was Florence Henderson's Country Kitchen. And let's come down for our first physical challenge. Right over here. Two. Yeah, you two. Did you young lady? We're, let's move right down over here. Let's go down to Lake Double Dare. Oh, Andy's going to help us. Andy, you go over there with Chris, and you join me over here, sir, because we are going to do a physical challenge called log rolling. When I say go, you must come up here and hold on to this and go all the way across by staying on this log. Now, if you fall inside, that means you must come back and start again. You must go all the way across without falling in. You then tag your son, Andy. Andy, you then must come across. If you fall in, you have to go back and start from that side. The object is for you to come all the way over here and ring that bell. 30 seconds to do it. You get up there, sir. You get started. When I say go, it's $100. On your mark. Get set. Go! is in great shape. He zoomed across there. That was wonderful, but uh, Andy had a little bit more difficulty. It's not an easy one to do. There goes that bell again. And uh, we have $250 for the uh, four short Texans. We're still in round one, and here's the next question. Marjorie Kinnon Rawlings wrote what book about a young boy and his pet fawn? Take you to 275 or you could dare them. Here. Now worth 50. Marjorie Kinnon Rawlings wrote what book about a young boy and his pet fawn? The Yearling. Is right again at $50. You have $125. And it seems like whatever question we ask them about rook, uh, reading about books, they know the answer. A bienni biennial plant, sure, lives for about how many years? Two years. That would be the answer. Yes, at 25. <laughs> now you have $150. 150 to 250 Tell me the capital of Poland. Take it to 175, bring it close. Warsaw. Warsaw is the answer again. 175 to 250. Another exciting game here on Family Double Dare. Tell me this, in square dancing, what does it mean when partners do -si do Is it they skip arm in arm, or is it they advance, circle back to back, and return to their starting places, or do they roll on their bellies and howl at the moon? <laughs> The second answer, B. Is they advance, circle back to back. Yeah, that's the answer. You are absolutely right. You have $200. 200 to 250 It is amazing to me how, uh, how this seesaw battle is uh, we're kind of wagering up here uh, today. Oh, that sound means it's the end of round one. Take a look. <laughs> Family Double Dare, that means all the dollar values will be doubled. And when you hear this sound right here, that means...
Sometimes the game is over. Question was about uh, Brady Bunch, Florence Henderson, and the Westonality Challenge, or whatever the show was. It was Florence Henderson's Country Kitchen. Our GAC master, and there is such a person, Seth is here. And ladies and gentlemen, he remembers when he was a small boy watching the Mike Douglas show. Florence Henderson was singing bizarre songs. She sang, I think it was Spinning Wheel. Let's hear Seth's version of Florence Henderson doing Spinning Wheel. I'm going to do I Feel the Earth Move. Is that all right, Mark? She did what? Spinning Wheel and I Feel the and Earth. I Feel the Earth Move. I'm going to do I Feel the Earth, but I need some assistance. So, girls. Come on in here, come on in here. Oh, Are you ready? A five, six. I feel the earth move under my feet. I feel the sky a tumbling down, a tumbling down, tumbling down. Oh, man. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you, girls, and uh, thank you, Seth. That's a... Uh, <laughs> Oh, man. Kids, stay in school. Otherwise, you'll end up like that, okay? Um, here's what's going to happen. We need to do a $50 toss-up. We have uh, people dressed as chickens, and we have some eggs in here, and we need to break those eggs. And how do you do it? Well, you peck at them. You're going to be doing that over here. You're going to be doing that over here. That was wonderful. And uh, what you have to do is get that liquid past the line on the red side or the blue side. Whoever does that gets $50 in control of round two. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> Garrison family from uh, Exeter, New Hampshire, they now have $250. Uh, the Reed family from uh, Texas has $250. Keep in mind, in this round, it's $50, it's $100, it's $200 on a double dare. Who's going to that obstacle course? Let's find out right now as we move back to the blue team. They have control of this round. What was the full title of the last Nightmare on Elm Street movie? I need the full title. Let's bring it to $300. Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. Is right. $300 for you. <laughs> Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. Andy, did you see that movie? No. No. <laughs> just, just happened to know the title there. Which of the following is a flower? Is it a cow lick, a cow poke, or a cow slip? Take you to $350. Cow slip? Yes, it is a cow slip. $350 is what you have. <laughs> My goodness. What president ordered Lewis and Clark to explore the Pacific Northwest. Bring up to 400, or you could dare them. Jefferson? Yes, you are right, Thomas Jefferson. $400 now. A $150 lead for the Granite Toast team. They seem to know almost everything that I'm asking them today. Who wrote the book, For Whom the Bell Tolls? They seem to know a lot of these book questions. Ernest Hemingway? Is right again. A $200 lead now for the Granite Toast team. No physical challenges yet in round two. That could change. Let's find out. Sioux Salem is New Salem, North Dakota's tourist attraction. Tell me, what is Salem Sioux? Salem Sioux is either a fortune-telling pig, or is it a hot water spring, or is it a giant fiberglass cow? Would take you to 500. You could dare them. Dare. Okay, it's worth 100. Salem Sioux is New Salem, North Dakota's tourist attraction. What is Salem Sioux? Is it a fortune-telling pig? a hot water spring or a giant fiberglass cow or you could double dare them back it would be worth two hundred dollars double dare it's worth two hundred you're gonna take a physical challenge physical, physical challenge. challenge a giant fiberglass cow it's thirty eight feet high and we have a two hundred dollar physical challenge right down over here all four of them all four of you everybody This could be an interesting part of the game because if you do not complete this physical challenge, we will have a tie score one more time. I need somebody who loves to make desserts. Anybody here really like to make desserts? Oh, you do, Mom? Oh, that's terrific. <laughs> you go over there and see Robin, and if the three of you could go see Chris, we have a, a chair for you. Now, what kind of desserts do you like? Oh, pies, cakes. Oh, good. Well, we have some uh, sherbet, some ice cream sherbet that's uh, getting a little mushy, but that's what it looks like right over there. And when I say go, your job is to start from behind this table and scoop this up. Then you run over here, either from the front or the back, have a seat right over there, and you must put this ice cream where? Well, in the goblet that uh, Andy is holding right there. And, of course, when you have ice cream, don't you enjoy some sort of topping? 
Of course I do, Mark. Oh, 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 say that again. Of course I do, Mark. Oh, good. I like that. And that's what's going to happen, Mom. You get to pull down on this little bowl, and that topping will come down on top of you. You then run back here again. You get a second scoop. You do the second scoop, pour it down the third scoop, and uh, on the way over, if you drop one of these scoops, you have to come back here. You cannot pick it up off the floor. So you can only scoop like this and run across. You're not allowed to keep your hand underneath like that. Three scoops, three toppings, 30 seconds, $200. Can they do it? On your mark. Get set. Go! That was phenomenal. You folks had one second remaining. If there were any mistakes, the money would have gone over to the Reed family. It did not. We have a $50 question as Suzanne makes her way back over here to the blue podium. They are in charge of this particular question. Geronimo was an Indian chief of what tribe? Could take you all the way to $700 or you could dare them. Dare. Now worth $100. Geronimo, he was an Indian chief. Of what tribe could take you to 350, or you could double dare them back? Need an answer. Cheyenne. Cheyenne is incorrect. The answer, Apache. Put $100 over here on the blue team. They have $750. That was actually good strategy at this point. You had to jump in. Time is running out. I would have done the same thing. It worked against you. Sandy Denton and Cheryl James are known as what rap duo, or you could dare them? Bring it to $800. Salt and pepper? Yes, yeah, salt and pepper. Very good. $800. A lot of money here to win on Family Double Dare. Name one of the two. Oh, that sound means it's the end of the game. With $800, the Granite Toast team from Exeter, New Hampshire, wins today's game of Family Double Dare. Congratulations. You take all that money with you to the Family Double Dare obstacle course. Reed family, you were magnificent. It was so close, and then in the second half, they never gave up control. That money is yours. We hope you had a good time. And, Doc, give them something special. Come on, Bobby. Come on, Bobby. In the whole wide world. Welcome to the Family Double Dare Obstacle Course. You know, we've had so much gack and goo around this place for so many years that bizarre mutant creatures are... Is, oh, my gosh! What is it? Hi there! What's your name, sir? My name's Dave! Yeah, Dave, what do you do here, Dave? I just help clean up the stage. Yeah, and... and <laughs> now, what happened? Were your ears always that big, or what, what affected them? Well, they started off pretty small, but the more I clean up the stage, I get the gack and stuff in my ears, yeah. and they just started to grow. I can't explain it! <laughs> Number one, this is Lake Double Dare. You must get on your knees, crawl all the way across. You must grab that flag. And, Doc, tell them what they'll win, would you please? Rugged, water resistant, and colorful Iowa Radical headphone stereos feature protective rubber cases and ultraviolet sensors that change colors in sunlight. You gotta agree. Iowa, what a difference. Oh, I don't care about the costume, it's the voice that got me. Uh, number two here is Monkey Bars. You must get up here on this and swing all the way across. If you fall down, jump back up on the one you fell off of. Grab that flag and win this prize. Magna Mountain Bikes. More power to climb and accelerate. Magna, the hot new name on the streets. Distributed by Dynacraft Industries Incorporated. It's the Magna Mountain Bike. You are from New England, and they have the best pizza in New England. And right here, we have a gigantic piece of pizza pie. Let me give you a hint. Sometimes they hide the flag underneath one of the pepperonis. You may want to look there first. Otherwise, peel that cheese away. There will be a flag somewhere. As soon as you find it, Doc, tell them what they'll win. Mark, the Harvard portable basketball system adjusts easily from 7 to 10 feet. That collapses for convenience storage. Harvard Sports, professional quality products for today's active sports enthusiasts. 
bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. The Gat Geyser is ready to explode. And when that happens, that means it's time to run over there and grab that flag. You'll slide on down that pole. Hopefully, you'll pick up lots of time so you can pick up this prize. From East Pack, the leader of the pack, a set of bags for work, school, play, and travel. East Pack bags are stylish, tough, and built to last. And the best thing, order from East Pack. Didn't the movie Jaws take place somewhere in New England? I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. And you're from New England, and we have a shark here. Probably not too familiar. Come over here. Let me, let me uh, take a look inside. Now, the shark has eaten a lot of things today. There's some crabs. Uh, there's some nets. I don't know what you can find in there, but I do know we have a flag. And as soon as you find it, you pass it over there. And the doc, uh, what, what do they win? The Discovery 3000 Zoom Camera from Fuji, featuring Fuji's dropping loading system, red eye reduction capability, and a 38 to 115 millimeter zoom lens. Fuji is a new way of seeing things. The Nickelodeon blimp is here. Let me give you a little hint. When you are ready for this obstacle, you come over here, wait for him to give you the flag. Then you run over here. Then you pull down on this cord. Lots of green stuff will make you uh, a different color than you currently are now. And uh, you will find a flag, and you will also find this prize. Enjoy the outdoors in Coleman's 11 by 10 classic tent. Light tonight and cook with a jewel, jewel, powerhouse lantern, and soul. Eat food fresh in Coleman, 54 quart, holly light cooler. And it's only from Coleman. You can pick up time on this one. It's called In One Ear and Out the Other. And oh my gosh, look, look what's over there. It's the mutant creature. Ah! And <laughs> what's that? Your earwax. Oh, that's it. That's where we got the wax for this out of his ear. And, uh, and there is a flag over there. <laughs> you grab that flag, and here's your prize. The York 24 track programmable compact disc stereo system with nine function remote control, AM FM stereo receiver, and a double cassette with auto reverse, and it's only from York. Never get the feeling we've been doing the show a few days too long. I don't know. This is the ringer, sir. What you will do is put your hands out like Superman. You will be uh, pushed through, squished through. Come over here. You will slide on down. There's the Double Dare logo. On the way down, if you can grab that flag and have it in your hand in 60 seconds or less, Doc, tell them the grand prize. <laughs> It's very dry out here, but it's soon to get very wet and very messy. Starting off right here at Lake Double Dare. 60 seconds on the clock. Audience, cheer them on. On your mark. Get set. Go! <laughs> Doc Holliday. We'll see you next time on Family Double Dare.
We love you. We'll see you here on the Family Feud. Show until next time. This is Peter Tamarkin on behalf of the Focati Rug saying thanks for pressing your luck. Bye bye. Anyway, we have just 10 seconds to say goodbye. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. So long. Bye bye. Yeah. We got five seconds. Oh no, we have three, two, one. Bye.